Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. If you're new, then welcome aboard. Um, I'm just putting my um, <coughs> throat soother in because my throat is closing up. Um, I'm here to do some more of the planner. So I've done some um, off screen and seeing as we at the beginning of the month, I want to get all of February uh, finished. So I can use it right from uh, the beginning of the month. So I've added a few things on to personalise it a bit. I made um, these <coughs> with the faded blue journals and I made myself uh, an extra one. Somebody had sent me uh, that in Happy Mail. So I just added that onto my beads, which I've just put um, on there. Then I've got this lovely dangle and uh, the lovely Gail Tuttle sent me this um, last year on, on my birthday. Uh, so I've put that in there. And then I've got some uh, paper clips, which I'm not sure if Nola sent me or if uh, Jody sent them me. So um, I'd only got three i'll have to make myself some some more up so i've put you know one on january calendar um page and one on february and i've paper clip that's uh, wrong and i've put one where i'm thinking march will be so i think that'll be easy um to flick back so this was at the bottom of my calendar um last year's calendar and it's a pocket so I thought I might kind of take that along uh, with me for any, you know, anywhere else that I need um, a pocket. Or I might put it on, you know, where I've done a pocket at the back of here. I might use them for um, next month. Let me put that higher because it, it dangles off the, off the page. So, yeah, I'm liking it. It's, um, you know, getting a bit more uh, personalised. So if you watched the last <coughs> um, one, I'd said, you know, I looked back at how I'd used January and what um, was working for me and what, what wasn't. Um, I am finding it really, really handy. Um, and it, it's keeping me on track. It's making me identify, you know, where I can slot things in and things like that. And I'm forever flicking back to the actual calendar um, piece and I've put personal things in here and you know Etsy, Patreon, Facebook like everything is on here so I'm finding this part very very uh, good and having my um, you know videos in and things um, so this month <coughs> as I've been filming this is kind of my plan for the month and I've been ticking them as I've actually filmed them so I can see you know today this is you know these are the ones that I've still got to uh film and obviously I best hurry up and film film this one because we're getting very uh close to it but it's enabled me to what I did first anybody who's got you know a youtube channel or something that that you do all the time um what I did was one day I filmed the whole of these trash to treasures because I'd got everything out on my desk um, and instead of you know doing that one day doing another and having all different stuff in and out I've filmed it in in blocks but obviously now you know I'm getting to the point where I need to at least film the first one of these and then I'll go back to um, you know filming some more of of this one and that has helped me but you can only do it like that when you're quite in front uh with videos um to be quite honest i do like to be four weeks in front it's it's a comfy um kind of place to be because you know if you're needing a couple of weeks off or if i'm working on bigger things you know sometimes i want to make a load of notebooks up to put them in the shop well I, I need to kind of be in front so it allows me all the time uh, to to get all the things done. So, yeah, that's helping me uh, loads. And then, what's this? Oh, that's for the March. So, I've still not, I've not thought about March's videos. 
<laughs> obviously because um i'm filming this and i think it's the 30th of january uh, so yeah i've not thought about march and i've not got no appointments as yet but um again you know this will come in handy you know sometimes you get emails from school and it's for something a couple of months in front and you read the email and you think right yeah i'll write that down totally forget about it but because this is on my desk next to my computer i can just pull it out and um, get those future uh, dates written in so this is what i've got in here uh so far um the months filling filling up quite quickly it's it's scary when you can see your month just um you know um or oh, where have i actually got any any time so i'm thinking this isn't gonna work for me um i mean obviously we've not started the month yet but um i created these two pages at the front of the month for notes and ideas now i'm thinking if i did that every month i'm gonna um, finish this book quicker um, and at the front if you if you've been watching them all there's these monthly reflections which if this was a personal journal um, I, I would find this really handy but it's it's not and I've not got time in my head to be doing a more personal thing why I'm trying to you know set up the way that a planner is going to work for me across the board so i'm thinking i might cover these up and act not that um actually um use these as a note section because sometimes you know things pop into my head um like these ideas well, then that means I'm going to have to look at every single month at where these ideas was. Because just because I've wrote this in doesn't mean that idea is going to be done in that month. It's just something that's popped in me head, something that I want to do at some point. So I do think having a note section at the beginning is more of a jotting down kind of notes. See, sometimes I like to... I mean, I don't draw, I can't draw, but um, sometimes I'll, you know, an idea of a, f a flip for an envelope or, co you know, just randomly pop into my head and I want to quick scribble it down. And that's what I was finding with, like, using notebooks that I was scribbling it down. And then I was using a different notebook and I never found the drawing again kind of thing. And I do think that that is the same kind of thing what's going to happen in here so off screen i'm gonna uh, do this i'm just gonna cover these pages and have this as a note section i will still um use this for this month um but i'll transfer any of the ideas over to the actual um front section so off screen i started uh, the month i'm using the february uh, planner kit from lenin who is collage type and i had some of these uh, black stickers which i thought went uh, fabulous with it and i've been saving these uh, i i really want to do um you know a black and cream journal and i've just never got around to it and i thought i'm going to use these stickers before they you know start shriveling up or drying or something uh, and i thought it went with this kit um lovely i've also um put three days in because um we did speak about last time you know i'd got a lot of blank um space even though you know i am using it every day um no, I didn't use it there. I did have the weekend off that weekend. Um, but yeah, it, there's still a lot of uh, space. I love that page. But, you know, I'm not going to write that much on there. But I just did it as a full page just because it was at the end. So, yes, I'm liking uh, the three um, days. So, I need to get my box out. So, we're on the 11th. So, we want Saturday, Sunday. So let's have a look. I don't know if I'll have to print more of these days out or or not. So I've transferred my things into these uh, CD wallets. 
I'd sent uh, Denise a couple because I'd used them as, as flips and things and then she'd been using hers for ephemera and I thought what a brilliant idea. So I stole that idea <laughs> from, from Denise at uh, Junk Journals UK. So that's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'm looking for a Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, I've got Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And this is how I, I do it when I'm doing so many uh, pages. Oops. Right, there's my numbers. So that's the 11th, so we want from the 12th. So 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 18, was that? 28, I need to do some more collage at the front as, as well because <coughs> now I've got the um, <coughs> the planner things that I can put in, 19, 15, 17, 16. So, what I'm looking for 13. Mm. Where are they? How bizarre. I wonder if they've got stuck in something else. So, 12 and 13. Have I done that page? Oh. Honestly, <laughs> so 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What day was that? Sunday. So we want a Monday. Um, Monday, so 21. 21. Sunday, Tuesday, we want. <coughs> Use that one. Right, Tuesday, that's a Tuesday, 22. I feel like I'm playing bingo. Uh, Wednesday, 23. Thursday, 24. How many days is they? Twenty eight Thursday Friday twenty five Saturday twenty oh, twenty six Sunday oh lovely I don't have to print any more out I don't think twenty seven Monday Twenty-eight, is that it then? Monday the twenty-eighth. Yep. Yeah. So I've got some oh, I'll use that Monday. I'll keep these. Wednesday. Friday. I'll use the bigger Friday. Thursday. I'm quite happy with the Thursdays. Fab, fab, Wednesday, sorry, yeah, you're a bit thinking, oh my goodness me, get on with it, woman, uh, Saturday, and then find me the Saturdays, Tuesdays, no, find me the Tuesdays, oh, that's another Tuesday, I like that Tuesday, I like that one now. One for that one. Sunday. Can't find me that. Friday. Find me that. Oh my god, nice Monday. There we go. So yeah, there was plenty of um, extra extra days and and things in there. So that's fabulous. 
Right, I need to keep those because, like I say, I want to do a, a collage at the front, if you remember. Um, I did this, so I wanted to do something else over over there and um, pop pop that in. And then I do want to do a collage on here uh, as well. So we'll do that one day. Need to think about March, but yeah, I think I'm up. You know, so far I'm I'm up to date. So shall we do do a few pages, and then I'll do the rest um, off screen. And um, yeah, so I thought at the front when I make my notes section, I'm probably going to use these um, in there because um, then I can any ideas I get I can just. Um, put them under the the relevant um, heading. So I'm going to have the Monday down here. Um, let's get the ink and let's get the glue. Yeah. So yeah, if I pop Monday down there. So I hope everybody is well. It's um it's really sunny here today. I think it's about eight um so it's um it's warmed up a little bit which is nice because i'm sick of the cold oh come on don't mess about after i've been messing about all that time <laughs> i don't need you glue to be messing about too i'm going to put that pretty close because oh i want it over that um i do i do work um well i work every day uh, really it's not often now yesterday saturday um i actually cleaned my house i know pick yourself up off the floor <laughs> yeah it got to the point um i've said this a million times i am a very very tidy person uh that might not shock a lot of you um so yeah i'm just naturally very tidy uh so i tidy as i go it's just everybody else who's messy um you know i.e eleanor and ryan oh and colin um, so I tidy up after them every day um, and I keep you know on top of the washing and bin emptying and pots and um, you know putting washing away and all that kind of um, daily stuff uh, but it's not often now I get the hoover out or uh, the mop we don't have um, we got any carpets no we've got no carpets um so yeah um i mop um the whole of the house so yeah it's not often that i get the hoover the mop and the duster and the bleach out um it's probably about every two weeks um one because i've not got time and two because i physically um it exhausts me it absolutely exhausts me um and i'm guessing you know if if you've got a chronic condition um i'm sure you're not in 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 agreement um and i just find it a waste of of my energy uh, because it's one of those jobs it's never going to be done is it you know you're never going to do it and never have to do it again so i and when I was younger, I used to clean all the time. Um, I think I was a bit obsessed with it. Um, and it always needed doing. You know, there was always something that that you could do. So, yeah, when when I first um, discovered that, you know, I'd got a chronic illness, um, I did have to, you know, like evaluate what was important. Uh, and obviously... You know, being in a clean house, it is important. Um, but like I say, because I am a very tidy person, um, if you don't look at the floors and, and look at the dust, it, it's fine. Um, so, yeah, I chose not to waste 
um, my energy um, on cleaning. So, um, yeah, I did that yesterday. And, um, yeah, by tea time, I'd finished and um, I had to go straight to bed. Um, I had the heated blanket on because um, I was absolutely, well, I was in pain all over. Um, so I didn't have a very good night's sleep last night. Um, cause, yeah, because I was in pain. Um, so today, um, I feel quite fatigued. Uh, but I feel feel okay. I'm aching, but um, yeah, I don't feel don't feel shocking. So I thought actually doing this today is is an ideal uh, little little task to do. That we can have a bit of a waffle. I can have a bit of a moan. <laughs> Just to let you know, you know what's going off. Um, getting the flags out because I've cleaned up. <laughs> oh dear. You know, my younger self would have said, I can't believe you've told people that you that you don't clean. <laughs> oh, but yeah, my older self, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'd be mortified if everywhere was untidy. Um, so I'm probably lucky that I am um, just tidy. Right, so enough of that. Let's change subject because I'm... I'm getting bored of it, and I guess you are too. So that looks lovely. I don't know if um, I don't want to be adding too much in embellishments because I'm now doing, you know, three uh, days to to a page. I kind of want to keep it, um, not as um, embellished, and oh, that's nice there. Um. And plus, this will allow me to keep going in this notebook uh, for longer. Because if I over embellish it, it's just going to get too chunky. It'll be like, yeah, I've got loads of pages left. But I um, can't physically put anything else in here. Um, and I'm thinking it's going to last me, actually, longer than I thought. I think when I first started it, I thought, oh, by the end of March, I would need um, something else. But... Um, I don't think I will. Just let me let's just do with putting some different paper behind that. Just do it a little bit thinner. But yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying writing in this book as well. Um you know it's not over complicated to look at, it's it's pretty enough to you know, for you to feel nice and cosy as, as you're writing in it. Um, and, yeah, it's, it is a joy to, to open up, uh, especially when I can't find the right page and I'm uh, flicking flicking through. It. It's very, very nice. That's lovely. might just put, I don't know if I might just put a label there. Let's peel this off. But yeah, these stickers, I, I bought these from AliExpress probably more, two years ago. That's lovely. Right, let's have a look at some. Um, oh, there's a little stamp here. Oh, it's so tiny, I can't, can't get it. I'm just going to pop that there. Can we see which? Oh, it's, it's just the William Morris paper, so I don't think it matters too much about um, what way what way it goes. What way is white? <laughs> what way is white? Um, there was a television person who used to speak like that. I can't remember who it was, but um, yeah. Oh, I ended two on that. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So that's uh, that one. So it's 17th. So 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Oh, that's super. So, oh, I was just one off March. That wasn't a bad 
um, thing, eh? So I am going to end up then finishing 17, 20, 23, 26, 29. Oh, now I can start there then. Oh, which is good because... How do I start it? Do I start it with a single page or the... Oh, I start it with a double page. Yeah, so if I, if that does finish there, that's good. So that's 48. So yeah, I've still got absolutely loads. Um, it is getting chunky. But, I mean, I could, you know, I could take these out um, because I'm not going to need to make any notes for January. Um so, and then obviously I can use these in other months or in in my journals. So, I suppose I can take things out as I go. I'm still going to keep the paper clips in and things. And, and these, because I might, I don't know, I might need to refer back to it for some some reason. Who knows? Um, 17, right, 18. Let's, um, let's think about what embellishments we'd like to use and then let's do it do it round that. Let's do a, a nice. Um, can you see right down here? So I've not used any of these strips so I'm thinking I could keep it like that couldn't I and have that all the way down. That's an idea. What else have we got? I've got some of the journal cards there. I'm going to put that in in the front. And say, so if I need to pull, if I need one, I can just get them from from there. Super. Right, where am I? Okay, okay. So. nice oh no I missed a pommy I bet you were saying wasn't you she's messing all her things up that she's lovingly uh, put down that's Tuesday that's Monday Oof, that could have been that could have been an absolute disaster couldn't it right So I think I'm going to do that. I need some scissors out. Um, I'll just cut the smaller ones out. So let's ink that up. I said didn't I'm filming this on a Sunday. So it's Ryan's weekend in, which is why I cleaned up yesterday. Um I'm supposed to be she cleaned her own room yesterday um, and she's supposed to be doing me some, um, I've got a second, well it's my first shop actually, it's the first shop that I opened so when I first started on Etsy um, I, I made dream catchers but um, over time, um, and I never went to the doctors about it but um, I think I was starting with that car, carpal tunnel. Um, and my fingers was really seizing, seizing up. Um, so I stopped making them and I just make the, um, oh dear, the DIY kits to, to make them yourself. Um, so in, in the packaging, um, you know, it's got the um, printed instructions and photos how to do it. So, yeah, print all those out and then, like, make it into a little booklet um, and put it in the bag that the hoop will go in and all the rest of it. So I have those set up so when an order comes in, all I've got to do is, you know, add the ribbon and the um, beads and, and that kind of thing. It, it makes it a lot easier. So um, she's supposed to... Uh, I've ordered... Uh, 24 hoops and she's supposed to be doing those but um, she went down for breakfast and uh, she's not come back up so 
I mean, I wouldn't like to say that she's she's avoiding it, but um, yeah, I think she's avoiding it. <laughs> I think she's definitely avoiding it. Mm, that's nice. Just thinking you will be able to see see through that when the sticker's there. Oh, I like that. It just gives it some some colour um, underneath. And I did like that there. I'll keep that back because you never know, do you? Never know. Maybe I want a little owl. Oh, that's cute. Let's have a look at papers then. I don't think I want any more owls. Do we want a ticket? Maybe like a little cluster. Oh, maybe. Maybe we are having an owl in that. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. I'm going to be using uh, this kit. Um, that's the next project that I need to start start filming. So I'm going to be using uh, the junk journal kit. Uh, and it's obviously right up my street. And um, Nanine's also brought out... No, I preferred that one. Um, some... Well, she didn't... Done? <laughs> she has done... That just doesn't sound right uh, she's created um some frames with the william morris papers and um some um pages so i'm going to mix that in uh with this kit and um yeah it's going to look lovely absolutely lovely right let's get those in there i feel like i'm moving really really slow and I'm sorry uh, if that's the case, but um, yeah, that's that's me today. My brain feels okay. Now it's funny. The other day I was saying that I felt fatigued and my brain was all fuzzy. Yet today my brain doesn't feel fuzzy, but um, I suppose I'm more bodily fatigued. I never really knew what tired meant until. Um, you know, I got fibromyalgia. Used to say, "Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, I'm tired." And yeah, I've never known um, a tired. It, it's like having the flu. Um, and I mean, most of us are lucky enough never to have the flu. Um, I've had the flu once. Um, and it's that kind of you know where you literally can't get up, you can't get dressed. You can't lift one foot up. Um, it's that kind of fatigue. Um, it's what's the word? It's um, not consuming. It's I don't know. Um, yeah, you just can't. I, I have days where I just can't. Um, and I just have to stay, stay in bed, which obviously makes me um, very, that's, I mean, I was organised before, but um, which has helped me. Um, <coughs> so when I am feeling fine, um, I won't like the clappers uh, to, you know, get things, things done. Um, and I mean, you might think, oh, well, that's using, you know, why wear yourself out? Um, I don't know if I want any paper on here. Let's just... But, um, yeah, it, for me, it doesn't doesn't work like that. Um, kind of saving it, saving it up. It's, um, yeah, I work when I can and sleep, sleep when I have to. And that's kind of, you know, what, what works for me. But it... It took um, it took a long time to kind of work out a new a new pattern that um, you can live alongside um, of an a chronic illness. Um, it took a lot of navigating. 
Um, but yeah, my biggest fear was, you know, not not being able to to do things and get on with things because I have always been a very um, active person. I mean, I've always worked worked full time, and you'll know because I've told you a million times. Like I was a you know single parent, I worked full time. Um, I kept an immaculate garden and an immaculate house. I mean, really, I don't know how I did that, but it's surprising, what, what, you know, when you've got energy, uh, what you can accomplish. Because I have always been a, you know, I'm doing this, this and this and tick it off your list kind of, whoops, um, person. Which I'm still like that. It's just in a, in a different way and like I say, that's why I choose not to not to clean up very often. I don't do the garden um, anymore. That's Ryan's department. I've never done DIY because I'm I'm not very good at it. I'm good at you know the colours, um, and you know the um, the design. But um, yeah, I'm no good at decorating. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not. Because that would just be something else that, that I need to, to do. I, I'm going to say, I don't even take the take the bins out. Because, um, um, yeah, that would um, be exhausting too. So, I think, you know, just making some, some little changes did, did really uh, help. And, um, yeah, until I kind of got used to it. Um, I was spending a lot more time in bed uh, than I do now. Uh, I mean, I think I'm pretty lucky um, with the amount of time that, that I do uh, spend in bed. I mean, for a long time, I used to spend two days out of seven uh, in bed every single week. Um, and now... Um, it, it's rare that I do spend a day in bed, but um, yeah, perhaps a couple, couple a month, unless you know I'm not well. Then obviously I do, I do go to bed. But I think now as well, I've learnt when to go to bed, whereas I used to push it uh, before, and then I would be in bed a lot longer. So now it's. As soon as I feel like I need to go to bed, I, I go to bed. I bet you're so bored of airing, airing this, aren't you? <laughs> I don't think I've got much more to talk about. I've gone into a panic now. What the hell's am I going to talk about? Yeah, there's not there's not a lot going off in my life at the moment. <laughs> I have um, fully paid for his holiday, which we're going to in May. Uh, well, it's the last few days of May, the first few days of um, I'm going to have that there, um, June. So, um, yeah, Alna and a friend are getting absolutely excited. Um, it's like counting down for Christmas. Um, they've been uh, sharing, um, you know, a screen on the on the phone, talking to each other while they're looking at clothes. Um, Alna's had uh, quite a big order from um, Sheen. Is it Sheen? Yeah. Um, for holiday clothes. Um, so yeah, we've done that. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, 18th, 19th, 20th. Let me just check that I'm still on track. Monday the 21st, yeah. Um, yeah, so a clothes are ordered. She still needs to go into town um, and get some jeans because she doesn't like the the jeans off um, Sheen. I don't think they fit her right. But um, yeah, she'll be all kitted, kitted out. I don't think I'll be buying anything. I mean, I might buy. Um, a couple of outfits. I mean, we went um to Cornwall last year, and I had some new trainers, new coat, um, a couple of new tops and stuff. And um, I've not particularly worn them. I mean, the, the trainers are white and they look, you know, brand new. So I don't think I really need anything. But I'm sure I'll uh, buy a couple of outfits. It's waste time buying anything. Um, you know, dressy. 
because uh, it is only a, you know, family uh, entertainment campsite kind of thing. We'll be in a, a caravan. Um, and I've bought one of those bags that Denise has bought. If you watch Denise, uh, she's been packing to go to her mum's uh, for an operation. And um, she bought this um, bag. What's well, like an open? It's like a basket, really, but um, it's got handles on it and compartments. Um, and she's taking that to her mum's, <coughs> like to craft when when she's a bit better from um, her operation Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, and I was said to her, well, I asked her for the link. I have put it in my uh, Amazon favourites under storage. I've put it under. Um, I'm going to do Wednesday down here because Wednesday is normally just um, my posting day. So I don't normally write a lot on a on a Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I asked her for the for the link. I said, oh, I think that'll be handy um, to take to the caravan. I'm not going to film um, at the caravan. I will film the um, campsite like I did um, last year. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not going to film. But um, yeah, I'll probably like do some clusters and some sewing and things while I'm there Wednesday, Thursday. How long have we been on for? Oh. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 25, 26, Sunday. Sunday, Monday. I was thinking that was a family. Shall I do another page? Well, oh, you can turn off, can't you? Yeah, just just turn off if, if you don't want to uh, carry on. Because um, I'm going to be sitting here anyway uh, doing it. Um, yeah, so like, I've been talking to Denise about, you know, things, um, what... <coughs> What I, um, when I've been sick, you know, long term, the things that I've uh, done uh, from my bed. Um, and I thought, oh, actually, they're good good things to, to do on holiday, like take a load of buttons and just, you know, do the in and out stitch uh, and tie them off. So you've got buttons that you can put on things that look as if they've been, been sewn. I mean, normally I wouldn't have uh, time for for doing something like that um it's always on my oh i must do uh, and never do kind of liking that there what have i done with all my embellishments have i packed them away Puff. did i think i was packing up no that's upside down can't have an upside down flower Mm, I don't think the ruler, the ruler works. Or maybe the little one. Hmm. It's a bit like a, a sunflower. Oh, it was a sunflower actually. No. Um, so yeah, that would be nice. Look at that snowy owl. Beautiful. It's a bit pale though. Tiddy stamp again. There's a floral stamp there. I might put that in there. Might have had something like that. Hmm. Is that going to be the last 
24, 25, 26. Yeah, that's the last one, isn't it? So I could use whatever. Whatever I want. And then these are going to go into um, stash. These will probably pop up in my... Um, oh, I love that stamp. Um, in my winter. It's not winter. Um, well, the kit's called Winter Woods, but I'm just doing it as woods. I like that. Um, I'm feeling like it needs some some paper um, in it. I don't want to anything over that side. I don't think I do, but I could do with some paper sweeping um, that way. But I'm just gathering these up. I'm just popping them over in my in my Monday drawer. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, which I've got out. What's that? Because that's the one that I'm filming next. So these can go back in my stash. Pop those over there. Right. Let's have a look at. Um, I've got loads of labels. Oh. So these will be all paper to go in this stash. Right. That's, I want paper. No, I've got this one ripped, but no, I'm not, I'm not seeing that. What about this? Oh, let's go this one. It's a bit darker. So, let's go. have a look at that right probably just wants to come in a little bit look the other way so on yeah. oh come on there'll be nothing left right that's super Let's get this inked. What time are we on? Right, I'm going to have to say bye in a minute. So I hope I've not been too droney. But um, yeah, for anyone who is pretty new um, with me, you, you know, you might have wanted to to hear about um, how my illness affects me. Because, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people out there who uh, also have chronic conditions. And I've met um, and spoken to so many people because... I do know um, one person, um, you know, face to face who, who has what I have. But, um, yeah, I've never met anybody else. Um, and you kind of do feel alone, don't you? It's, um, um, yeah, and, you know, when you say those kinds of things to uh, people who've, who've never experienced... Um, like pain and fatigue and stuff it is it's very hard for for somebody to get the head round um and especially you know when you're functioning um it is like and it's that um you know, what do they say when you know you never really know what somebody's um going through just uh on face to face uh, what what is it kind of um, like a hidden disability, isn't it? That that you can't uh, see it unless I'm having a day where I, I can't walk. But um, otherwise, um, you know, you can't you can't see it. Um. So yes, now you know, <laughs> and now you know about my holiday. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to get uh, quite excited. But I think uh, that craft bag thing comes today. So um. Yeah, I might start gathering uh, some stuff because I've got to think it'll be, um, you know, if I was making things, it'd be for like August time or something. Um, so I could probably start putting, I mean, I could probably take a load of Edith Holden um, stuff and like make some, 
you know, lacy clusters and, and bits and bobs. But I would like to think of jobs that are kind of, you know, not very good to do on, on film. I mean, I don't think you want to watch me, you know, sew cotton in a, in a button <laughs> for two, two hours. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of thinking of those jobs which are um, a little bit boring. Um, but I don't want to take too much because I, I want to, uh, I don't read very often. Um, you know, I'd like to just sit and read and um, I might just take a look. I mean, just doing fussy cutting, I could probably, you know, print out my next X amount of uh, kits that I'd be doing. Because um, obviously that's not something uh, you do. You do on camera. You have to do the odd bit of cutting, but um, yeah, the majority of it we do we do off camera. Um, and yeah, you know, I do an awful lot of, of fussy cutting. Luckily, I like it. Um, you know, I don't. I think it'd be really hard uh, for people who who hate it. I mean, you would have to literally buy. Um, all your embellishments, wouldn't you? Um, and paper pads and, and things. Um, you don't really want the digital pages if, if you, you know, hated fussy cutting. Or if you can't fussy cut. Um, I mean, sometimes when I have been really busy... Um, I've, I've myself has, have bought fussy cuts uh, from... I was going to say from Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket. <laughs> yeah, from Sainsbury's. Um, off Etsy, um, I've bought some uh, birds before. Um, I've bought some botanicals. Um, I've probably bought them about four times. Uh, where I've literally not had, had time to, to do any, but needed them. Um, so, yeah, there's some people who... Who must really like it, and um, that's a nice, nice pastime, isn't it? Right, come on, let's get this done. Um, in fact, I'm gonna say bye now because um, I'm sure nobody else, I'm sure nobody's here now, um, and I'm thinking once I get to an hour, it's a nightmare to to upload. So, if you are here, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, and I will see you. This is the second video today. So I can't remember what the, the one earlier was because I obviously filmed it on a different day. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And tomorrow, I think, will be the start of um, my new project. And, um, yeah, I've got everything at the side of me. <gasps> I mean, look at all this cutting out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll be starting that, but um, I think I might need some coffee <laughs> before I start that one. And um, I need topics of conversation, don't I? Um, so, yeah, thanks for joining me. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, get started on this month. Uh, I will do a quick video um, partway through the month. I'm just going to do two um, a month now. Um, so... The next one will be in like two weeks and I'll be setting up uh, March. We'll do the, the front uh, part and give you a look at the at the kit. Um, and it's beautiful. I've got it printed printed out. It's very, very nice. I mean, they've all been very, very nice. Um, they've all been my favourites. <laughs> Me and uh, Denise always laugh about that. It's my favourite every... You know, every project that we're working on, it's, it's his favourite. Which is lovely, isn't it, that um, we do, you know, like each thing that, that we do. Right, goodbye. See you soon. Bye.